president gives his State of the Union message on Tuesday to Congress, what's he going to say? I think he's going to talk about a lot of the things that he talked about in his inaugural address. I, um, I actually, standing in the mall, thought his inaugural address was li a lot like the State of the Union address. He's going to talk about immigration. He's going to talk about budget stuff. He's going to talk about what, what else? What do you think? It's a laundry well, list. One of those. I mean, climate change obviously is going to be <laughs> right. for or against. <laughs> <laughs> he's against climate change. I mean, he's definitely going to put a little more meat on the bones on some of the things that he talked about in the inaugural address, fill in a few more details. Um, but it, as soon as he starts his second term, you know, the clock starts ticking toward lame duck status. So it's, it's kind of an important State of the Union address as these things go, uh, because he doesn't have that much time to get these things done. So he, he wants to lay out the things that he, mm -hmm. wants to, he needs to get done quickly. But is there anything that we don't really already know from him? Like, what are we waiting to hear? He, he's been pretty detailed about gun control and what he wants to see. He's been pretty detailed about what he wants on immigration. He's been very detailed on the budget. I mean, mm, don't not we? Not so detailed about the budget. We don't really <laughs> well, know what his priorities are right yeah. now on the budget. Right, we, so we, so we know the big picture of where right. he wants to go. So I mean, what but, but it's but we, hard to imagine a State of the Union getting I a lot more want, detail on that. Well, I think people are going to want to know the tone more than anything. Right. I mean, he's yeah. standing in front of the whole body of Congress, and a lot of people were struck by his inaugural address, like, whoa, he's gone sharply it's liberal. Nice. He's not reaching out to the other yeah. side. I think it's going to be more of that, like the body language part of it. Do we think? know any, do we any, give me any signals about any bells and whistles? He's going to speak Spanish or something? <laughs> well, Marco Rubio is going to speak Spanish when he responds to the State of the Union. We've not heard about uh, the president speaking Spanish, but um, we've definitely heard that he's going to speak a lot about climate change, which is something he mentioned in the inaugural, but didn't really give us a path forward on how he wants to address climate change. And, and to the question of what don't we know, we also haven't heard a lot from him on education mm -hmm. uh, in the inaugural and, and in recent months, and so that might be another area to explore. Now, his, his speechwriter is leaving, as John Favreau. Right. Is he going to write yeah. this one and then depart, or how's that working, you know? It was a team effort. Um, Favreau was involved. The new speechwriter took the lead, reportedly, and um, but it was, it was Favreau's last effort before he goes off to Hollywood. So. Yeah. Huh. It's an interesting mix because really the thing that has the most potential for getting done is immigration, which is very bipartisan. And so you would expect sort of a tone of let's all work together. On the other hand, you know, some of these other issues, the budget, um, gun control, those things that climate change to be sure are, are really, you know, divisive issues. So it'll be, you know, interesting to see how he balances that and what the overall tone is. Does the world ever remember what someone says in the state? You know, it's funny. I went back and lugged Bush in his first one of his second term, devoted most of his time to Social Security reform. Clinton in his devoted most of his time to education reform. Neither of those actually came to pass. So do they remember? No, not really. And nor do they necessarily, you know, come into reality.